Greetings everyone, the Goods Tonight here. It's about review time because something I've been waiting for has finally come in. And it's an improvement over the Glock 26 I've been using. It is the Glock 18C. Now, I've got a little butt plate thing in here from APS to improve the grip, but yeah, Glock 18C. Distinguishable by the selector switch and the cutouts and the slide. So, basically, a Glock 17 body, the Glock 18 upper, which enables it to do full auto. So I've been waiting for this to come in for a while, and now that's finally here. Well, we've got to test it. This thing's been around, been out for about forever, so if you're hearing about it from me, then you're pretty far behind the train, but I finally got around to buying one. Mag goes in, we ready it, and all sounds good. And we're going to be shooting our little GM target here because it's all about Xeon. So basically, your semi is going to be up here. So in semi, you go, and it sounds really good. Put it in full auto, and we're asking ourselves, well, how fast does it shoot? Well, mind you, we're in Okinawa, where it's really hot and really humid, so the magazine's going to be at extra power. So in full auto, we get... So, to answer your question, the speed we shoot at is ungodly fast. When they say God speed, this is what they're referring to. So, that's the Glock 18C in a nutshell. And I actually got some HFC shot back into my face because it was literally cycling at an unholy rate. Now, you're going to need a holster for this. This will fit in most Glock 17 holsters, particularly for Safari Land. However, mine's not in yet. I've got my panel here, but I've only got my Glock 26 holster. So, as soon as this gets a holster in, I'll be running this. Alternatively, I'll probably get some extra magazines. And honestly, I could just do an entire, an entire handgun run with one of these. This is probably one of the greatest handguns I've ever seen. So, I shoot pretty wildly, but as you can see, our GM here did not survive. Glock 18. So let's see if I can... Yeah, that's where it's at right there. So... Well, additionally, Glocks are incredibly popular and well known. Yeah, loop that up a bit, that should be dropping out faster. But yeah, so. Horrifyingly fast, very comfortable. Lots of modifications and uh, add ons you can have for them. Probably gonna get a light and a holster that will also hold a light and get that going, so. Decent weight. The magazine holds 25 rounds, which is 10 more than the 26, which means you get more ammo, more bang for your buck. Full auto is horrifying, and with just about maybe even three mags, you can do a lot of damage. You know, you might be asking yourself, what other reason is there with only 25 rounds? Well, they also make 50 round magazines. Out. Out, I say. Yeah, I'm gonna have to loop that. They make 25 round mags. Which, oh, well, this is where this really shines, because you get a lot more. And you basically get twice the amount of firepower. Yeah, you can see where the lubrication comes in. I think that's gonna bother me. Or is it around you somewhere? I'll take care of it in a minute. But yeah, so. A lot of ammo. A lot of DACA. All you really need is a field that doesn't say, hey, no full auto. And you've got a horrifying amount of firepower. So yeah. Sexy beast. So that's my review. This thing's been out for a while. If you have a 17, well, you don't get to do the full auto thing. Although, technically, it was just a swap out of the slide. Because that's where the full auto is designated from you'd be okay. So there you go. Full auto, lock, devastating amount of firepower, and super, super sexy. So that's where the camouflage pattern comes in. So that's your quick review. Hope you enjoy me shooting it for the first time in my apartment in completely haphazard So yeah, cheers everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Stay chivalrous.